Hi traders, we're going to install the triple MA crossover with, with auto trade facility onto an MT4 account here. So we're in the license manager and we're going to click on the install link for triple MA crossover with auto trade. And this package gets downloaded, it's a zip file, and when you open up the zip file, you'll see the installer. And when you run the installer, just doing a quick virus check there. Click next, accept the license agreement. And what we're going to do is we're going to install it in our MT4 data folder. So that's simply to find that you just go open data folder and MT4 and just go up to here in this little uh, Windows Explorer window and just copy this address as text and then just paste that into your MT4 terminal, sorry, your installer. Click next, click install, click finish, and simply go into the navigator in MT4 and right click, click refresh, and now we're going to open a new chart and we we'll change the color scheme to black on white. And I'm going to now go down to my expert advisors and load FXA triple MA auto trade. Make sure allow DLL imports is ticked. I'm now also going to load an indicator called FXA triple MA crossover auto trade JFX. You can turn that use alerts pro off in the uh, inputs to false and select allow DL imports. Make sure that's ticked in the comment tab. Click OK. And what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to load the interface. So I go into my data folder and I double click the file called FXA JFX interface, which is a Java application and enter your unique reference number and ID click customer login and in your catalog go to alert enable indicators and then select triple MA crossover auto trade right so that's the system loaded and as you guys are running a beta uh, for the beta testers of this system, you're going to be familiar with all the moving average settings, styling, uh, alert control, sound files, profile controls, etc. The only difference really with this auto trade facility is this auto trade section at the top here. So what we can do is we need to obviously create alerts using the system, but the alert system is separate. Um, from the, the auto trading system but we do need to have the alert system enabled um, otherwise the the um, indicator in EA won't trigger and what I'd suggest doing when you set this up is decide your time frame that you want to you want to trade on say you want to trade on M5 Let's just let redraw that properly I'd set the max alerts to a thousand just I put a thousand in on the on the drop downs on this system so that it doesn't it never times out and then set the alert interval to the same as your chart period so five and just leave it alone at that so about ten thousand alerts and alert interval same as your chart period so if you're running m5 put five minutes for your alert interval whether you use cross so um, printed alerts or cross or touch based alerts uh, I would suggest using printed for auto trading. You don't want instantaneous trades when MA is touched. You want to make sure they've crossed over. So those are, the, those are really the only settings you need to worry about in the alert area. So make sure the system is enabled. Max alerts is 10,000. Alert interval is the same as your chart. And crossover mode is printed. And then the rest of it is simple. Um, set your lot sizing, stop loss, take profit, max orders, minimum order interval, so I'd, again I'd set that as the same as your chart period or depending on what you want to do. Um, if you make changes to these spinners, make sure, and if you make changes using the keyboard, um, i.e. You, you actually hit a key, so it's six, whatever it is, 
hit enter to make sure those changes are reflected. Otherwise, they won't be reflected um, or passed through to the EA and the indicator. And what hedging does, if you enable hedging, it will allow the system to trade both ways on the same currency pair. I would not suggest you use that. So disable hedging, and that will mean the system can only um, trade one way. So if there's if there's basically an, a long trade already opened, it won't open any short trades uh, to counterbalance that existing trade. So and that is really it, folks. It's really pretty simple. Um, so when you see the other thing as well, I would suggest is use long period MAs for th use three MAs. So you use a short, maybe five or ten, whatever you want to do for your short periods. Uh, but on the long period MAs, use something much longer, like 100 or 200. Um, notice actually as well that the changes I'm making aren't being reflected on this chart. So what I want to do is I want to check to make sure that my data folder is correct and it's not. So I need to actually add the correct data folder in here, which is... into Trader 1. So now, when I actually go into my Triple ME crossover with auto trading system, you know this now loaded a default chart, which is which makes sense because we hadn't actually set anything up for this account before. So, so I enable auto trading. I want a, a one lot, whoops, one lot stop loss. Uh, just leave it at 2020 just for the sub purposes of the demo max orders two minimum order interval five minutes max risk isn't deployed yet so don't worry about max risk alert system enabled max alerts 10,000 alert interval five printed based alerts so now and we're just going to change our moving average the third moving average to a longer one gets us in the trend and there you go now those changes being reflected and the system is good to go for auto trading I'm not saying that these parameters 5, 10 and 100 are, are the absolute winning formula uh, I personally say that if you trade on longer time frames um, you're going to have more success in terms of getting better signals so if you look at this chart here with a 5, 10 and a 20 for the moving averages you can see here these in these areas here these signals here on, on printed crossovers they were good entries and in terms of what you could get out of each one you know this is easily 20 pips easily in each one of these if not a lot more um, so I mean the thing to, thing to bear in mind is moving averages don't work very well when the market is range bound. So in these areas here you can see it's not too bad but sometimes when the market goes into a very range bound condition moving averages will give you false signals. So in trending environments moving averages can work very well. Um, so that's basically the auto trading system. Um, once you get a signal coming through you'll see trades bits being automatically opened up for you. Make sure you've got auto trading enabled in the EA uh, so smiley faces for your EA, uh, and that is pretty much it, folks, for um, for this triple moving average with auto trading facility. So, anyone has any problems, please don't hesitate to get back to me. Thanks very much.